So for me, when I'm out flying, whether it's on a job or if I'm just messing around, it kind of seems like the name of the game is risk taking. And one of my biggest enemies is definitely uh, trees. So if you're not aware, your FPV drone, the way the prop spin can be set up two ways. You could either fly props in where the props are spinning towards your camera, or you can actually fly props out where they're spinning the opposite way. Now for me personally, I went right away with props out because I thought it'd give me a lot of benefits in terms of bouncing off objects, especially things like trees. Now I didn't test it before I did it, but that's why I've been flying. And I can tell you, and if you could tell by the intro, uh, I hit a lot of trees and I seem to bounce off them pretty easily. The footage is usually ruined, uh, but I don't get hung up, which is really, really important, especially when you're in some of the places that I've been flying. So today I wanted to kind of test whether props in or props out would be better. So we were doing some tree trimming and I just made a little fake tree that I can kind of run into from different angles and do it both props in and props out and kind of get to the bottom whether there is really a difference on how often you get hung up in trees. So tonight and tomorrow, I'm gonna fly both props in and props out, and we'll kind of give you a montage so you can see, uh, coming from different angles, different speeds, and get to the bottom of this finally. gotta do is just bend them back. Good as new. All right, so I just finished up flying props out on my little test tree there. And uh, flying props out, I wasn't actually able to get hung up. My whole goal was just to keep flying at it, coming from different angles, different speeds, just to see if I could get the drone to, to get basically hung up where the basically a branch gets stuck between the prop and the arm. I wasn't able to do it. There were a few times where I actually perched, but as soon as I cut power to the motors, I just fell to the ground. So luckily I didn't break any arms or anything like that. My props really chipped up, but uh, I'm gonna switch them out anyways because I gotta take the props off to uh, switch orientation, but I'm gonna jump into uh, BL Heli Suite and uh, Beta Flight and get everything uh, switched around and pr new props put back on so that I can go out and uh, see if props in makes a big difference. I'll basically be doing the same thing, different speeds, uh, basically just trying to get the drone hung up and see if it makes a difference. So let's, uh, let's get the drone reconfigured. All right, we're just gonna call it. I uh, broke a couple more props. I could change it to a new prop, but honestly, it makes a huge difference. Uh, I was kind of nervous it wasn't because it has been absolute murder on my uh, drone. I might have broke a motor. I definitely broke at least six props, but it was definitely worth it because it gave me a lot of insight and props out in terms of getting hung up in trees makes a huge difference. It almost feels different when you hit a tree. When you're flying uh, props out, you almost feel like you bounce off of trees and stuff a little bit where uh, when you fly props in it's just super grabby feeling especially when you're going through the trees i probably did like 20 more passes uh with props out than i did with props in and uh yeah i don't need to fly anymore and bust up my drone anymore uh it makes a huge difference so if you're gonna fly cinematic uh fpv definitely definitely recommend flying props out it's gonna get you out of sticky situations especially with trees and like you saw from the beginning i hit trees a lot uh, just because I'm always trying to push the envelope a little bit when I'm trying to get cool shots around treetops uh, just one you know a little bit more tidbit on this um, no, that's a stupid word 
just maybe one more little bit of information here. Uh, the only time we're flying uh, props out is going to uh, kind of mess you up a little bit is uh, when you go into turtle mode. So if you're upside down, you flip into turtle mode, your props actually spin in reverse. So that's actually gonna throw a lot of garbage and junk and dirt at your camera. But honestly, if you're flying cinematically, you got a GoPro on there, if you're in turtle mode, you're really probably just trying to get your drone back to you. So you're not so worried about, you know, dirting up your lens and stuff like that. So, I mean, maybe if you were a freestyle pilot and uh, you get into situations and you just use turtle mode quite a bit just to get out uh, when you're screwing around, it might make a difference. Uh, but for this application, I mean, if I can get to my drone and it's upside down, I would rather just uh, walk over to it, flip it upside down, clean off my ND filters and make sure that uh, it's good to keep going and uh, there's nothing wrong with uh, the video quality. So uh, yeah, fly props out. If you don't know how to set up your drone flying props out, uh, what you need to do is basically if download BL Heli Suite. I'm not gonna do a tutorial on that, but then you can connect to your ESC and actually just reverse props and make sure that they're spinning the right way. And then in beta flight, you'll have your settings uh, uh, set to reverse turn on. So that's just letting your flight controller know which way you're trying to fly and it can compensate. But yeah, BL Heli Suite, I'll put a link in the description below, uh, but that's gonna be the tool that lets you uh, go back and forth between props in and props out. So set your drone for props out. You'll thank me later when you're bouncing off trees.